Hi folks and welcome to this video presentation of this 2019 Nash product by Northwood built in La Grande, Oregon. Great product. We were one of their first dealerships that uh, opened up with that Nash product back in 1993. We we're really proud to be one of their dealers and it's a great product. We'll go ahead and show you this 26N as a rear lounge. The interior has some nice big windows. It's got a lot of storage area in there, good counter space. And then we'll finish up on some of the features on the outside. But come on on the inside with me. Has a tall step over here to get up off the ground. So we'll uh, start up on the inside here, of course. So the feature to this unit right here, I'll have the camera guy go over in the kitchen. That way you can see kind of what the feature is here, is looking at this rear lounge and being able to have, being able to have all this, uh, this space and all this area where you have so much natural light coming in. You've got a rear living over there, so you've got windows all the way around so you can see a lot, especially imagine kind of parking up by a creek or a river or a stream, being able to see all that makes it very nice. You do have big windows that also open up for extra ventilation. Every single one does here. And then in the slide out, we do have a fixed window on one side and a big opening window on that back wall there. So you got a booth dinette that makes into a bed. And you also have your couch here that will uh, jackknife into a bed as well and sleep somebody this way. You have a little place to set some drinks on both sides. You have some storage underneath both of these, which are really nice there as well. Make sure we see on that one there, it's a little bit taller, but got storage access there. And then if we come around, they can see also here by the door, there's a door that opens up uh, here by the main entrance. So more storage all the way in there for access. You've got good counter space here if you want to put a toaster or what have you. You do also have some good overall um, overhead storage as well they take advantage of. And these are cabinet doors that are a solid wood here which make it really nice and unique that they do at Northwood's been using for a few years now looks really nice. You do have a stainless steel, your traditional kind of 650-50 sink makes it real nice. It's fairly deep still. It's good to have for uh, easy maintenance down the road. You do also have this optional uh, or I should say uh, uh, upgraded with that uh, stove top being stainless on there, the cover, the, uh, the vent also your microwave makes it real nice looking, real productive and practical there. Also have an area back in this area for knives if you want to do for storage there. You also have a six cubic foot refrigerator, separate freezer up top. So you have that going for you, 12 volt gas electric. I should say it's a, a gas or electric only, not a 12 volt. You do also have storage here and I'll show you when I get on the outside, there's also some storage on the outside of this area, which is nice to have. And again, with Northwood, they don't try to build a real lightweight trailer. They're trying to put into it as much storage as they can instead of taking away some of that, which some of the ultralight companies might do. So it's nice to have that extra storage you have there. You do have a flip down here on both sides of the booth area. Something else you'll notice too, that you'll see this floor is thicker. So it's gonna be a fully insulated floor, which will help for that cold weather. This is one of the few products out there in this price category that's still listed as being more of a four season out there than most brands. So it makes it really nice. You do have some additional storage underneath here inside the entertainment that you can kind of use that if you wanted to for pantry. You don't have to necessarily uh, use it for TVs and uh, DVD movies and storage like step that. You've got also, also storage above and below and then also uh, right here pantry next to the refrigerator which we might have already seen and it goes in there quite a ways so it's nice to have solid doors really help a lot they seem to have more insulation in the doors so we go in here to the uh, master bedroom bathroom kind of combination your sink and your shower here um, are going to be kind of made in this open area here for getting dressed and stuff, stuff is real nice. You do have uh, a insulated, uh, or I should say waterproofed area here for your tub and shower and kind of a little place to put your feet or whatever it is up there when you're cleaning. You do have the skylight above, which makes it nice as well too. Storage is underneath this area and this will open up here I imagine from the, not sure, here it is. Opens up from there for medicine cabinet. Place here for towels, nice. And then in this area, they do have a separate uh, uh, they do have a separate toilet. You'll see inside that area with a window for that and a fan for extra ventilation, some storage up there. Makes it nice. You're, uh, you know, have the area to have that privatized. And then you also got a doorway that will go uh, in and out of the master bedroom from outside. You do have closet space. I think on this one, they do both uh, of the shelves as opposed to a wardrobe. Um, let's see, maybe this side might do wardrobe. I can't remember how they did it this year. 
They're both going to be for drawers. And you do also have that storage overhead here. And you do have another uh, power fan, a fantastic high capacity fan, uh, that style of fan up in the ceiling. You do also have storage that is underneath here that's separated from uh, up in the pass through there. So you're going to put some uh, sheets and pillows in here. They won't commingle with things that might be a little dirtier in that front pass through. Uh, but you know, for, for a product, it's got a very open area here. It's got great doors that separate for sound deadening and for privacy and uh, also for insulation. And you do have a very good open living area in here in a 26 foot trailer. So let me show you some of the other features on the outside too. On the way out, we, we do see this is a, so, a solar charge controller here for a small little uh, solar panel up top. And that's something that's gonna help trickle charge on those batteries. And that's standard for the Northwood products, kind of nice. When we go on the outside here, we are gonna end up having uh, the uh, larger, they usually have a four and a half inch bumper, so that's kind of nice to have more room in there to get your sewer hose put in there and back. You also have uh, a little, little hitch receiver here for things if you need to, accessories. Kind of nice they weld that on there. You do have your ladder to gain access up on the roof. They do have a nice deep slide out. That's what gave you that extra space inside that main living area. As we go through here, a lot of companies won't bother, but they did put on that other side of that uh, slide out in that wardrobe, you'll see, or closet, you got this all this storage as well from available from the outside for certain things you might need. The outside shower, uh, satellite and cable ready in through here. You're gonna see the uh, uh, Santa black tank flush here in your city water. And this is gonna be insulated because it is pre-wired for a generator in the event you wanna go ahead and have a, a custom generator put in there. That way you can kind of be off the grid even more and have that to you. So that's uh, now magnets they do use on all these, which is nice. Solar plug-in, so that way if you did want to have a solar panel that you want to plug on the outside, that, uh, that plug, universal plug will go in there. You do have room for two batteries, and the deep cycle batteries that we put on there uh, that we do for our customers with the slide outs like this. And we do have the uh, seven gallon tanks that are down below here with the cover on it, and your power lighted tongue jack, which will make it uh, really nice and easy to get on and off your truck without much effort. You also have another LED light feature here, it's nice. When you go through here, on the pass-through, it's got a good, not pass-through, but it's got a good opening here to that under storage. You also have some accessories that will, will um, uh, fit on this little bracket right here. You'll have things like a little basket and a little tray and also maybe a, a little garbage thing that you can put on there as well, which makes it nice. There are full one inch, one inch insulated block foam doors that give you double latches so when you take and put both these shut which I recommend when you're going down dirty roads and everything to keep that fine dust out is to lock them both on there and with the automotive seals that you use on here with no memory it makes, the, it, makes it seal very tightly and keep those fine particles out. So that's nice to have with Northwood. Also big doors uh, that they put on there. In the Nash product they do standardize with a 10 gallon hot water heater instead of a 6. So you do have that. And you do also have a nice awning that covers most of your patio area out here, which is nice to have. You do have Goodyear tires, which is another feature they've been doing for a couple of few years now, which is nice to have. And on your main door that you have, um, they have a light that comes on outside for additional lighting and the speakers. All that works together out there for a really nice sound system when you're out here. And the door has the pre-friction uh, hinges on it, which make it nice for not blowing in the wind against you. Grab handle for coming in and out an additional handle here. But what you get with the Northwood product is a, uh, a very heavy duty product and well insulated and again closest to a four season that you're ever going to find out there in a travel trader. Um, the Arctic Fox is another company, another brand that uh, Northwood makes and of course that one's even a little bit notch above and all that has their own floor plans with the rear lounge. You can call me and I can tell you about that product as well. But again, been out there in business since about 1993, uh, Northwood Company in La Grande, Oregon. So again, Oregon made, great product. We'd love to help you with any questions you might come up with. If you do, again, my uh, number's at the end of this video, so you can give me a call, Tom Peterson. Been here about 28 years, we love it. It's a great place to work, great time to think about buying. And if you do want to visit Guarantee, remember out here in Junction City, it's an RV show every day.